Hello everyone, it's Joanna Bojarska, the beauty expert. Welcome to 2021. I hope you all had a good festive season despite everything that was happening. For example, I live in England and my county was Berkshire, was and still is in tier four, which basically means lockdown rules. So our options for Christmas were quite limited, but still I had a lovely time with my family. We drank a lot, we ate a lot and we watched loads of Christmas movies um, so yes now one of my newest resolutions will be to burn all these pounds I've put on and talking about resolutions and plans I think that might be a very good way to start the year as long as you're setting up some realistic goals because very uh, often we uh, set up the bar so high so it's a lost cause right from the beginning and I would definitely encourage you to set up some certain goals uh, so they can keep you motivated throughout the whole year but be kind to yourself and do not torture yourself with some severe tasks. And if you would like to hear about how to set up certain New Year's resolutions and how to stick to them for a longer period of time, I would recommend watching my last year video where together with Monika Vaidova, the founder of Jumping Trampoline Fitness Classes, we are sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to man maintain a healthy lifestyle without starving yourself or pushing yourself to the limits at the gym. And talking about commitments, recently I have received loads of questions regarding organizing skincare vanities. And I do understand the reason behind it, because these days we are just overwhelmed by the amount of different beauty products on the market. And we don't even know which ones will be the best for our complexion. And sometimes when I watch those YouTubers or Instagram influencers and their 14 steps skincare routine, I just wonder, is it even realistic? Who on earth has time for it? Well, unless you are a beauty freak like me, and um, this is the part of your job. So at least I have an excuse to buy and test all these products. And today I have decided that I will take a step back and instead of presenting to you some new great beauty products, I will show you how you can simplify it and make your basic skincare routine. So today I will show you how to create and organize your basic daily skincare routine. And you can use the products which you already have, unless they are very harsh or damaging to your skin. And even with a few products, you can create this beautiful skincare, which will give you ultimate effects you are after. So some of the things which I will be talking about today, they might sound very obvious, but I really want to cover all the basics. And before I start, I just want to quickly mention that I have also posted an article on my beauty blog about this actual subject. So if you would like to hear my notes on the basic skincare routine, you are more than welcome to visit my beauty blog. Okay, but let's start from the beginning. So whenever I do a consultation either at my beauty studio or now online. Uh, firstly, I like to know what my customers are already using, uh, how simple or advanced their skincare already is and what formulas they like to use. And then based on all this information, um, I can I'll alternate their skincare here and there in order to get the best possible results. Because I also want you to remember that skincare, it's not a plastic surgery or Botox, yes? Skincare is here to help you to maintain healthy looking skin, a skin which is fresh, uh, glowy and radiant. And um, so we can't really stop the process of aging or we can't close your pores, uh, but what a good personalized skincare will do, it will help you to be the best version of yourself. So no matter how simply or complicated your skincare might be, you will need a morning and an evening skincare routine. The reason being is that your skin needs slightly different things in the morning to those in the evening. And today I will show you my recipe for the basic, simple and effortless skincare that will give you beautiful results. And whenever I will be talking about certain steps in your skincare, I will show you a few example products just as a reference, because it doesn't mean that those products will be the best for you. So I would uh, highly encourage 
encourage you to either contact me directly or contact your beauty therapist so we can do your proper skin analysis and pick the best products for your specific skin needs. Right, so let's start with our morning skincare routine. And in the morning, the first thing you would normally do, you would probably wash your face. I know there are some people who don't like to wash their faces in the morning and that's fine. You can simply splash your face with lukewarm water. Uh, but I personally, I like to wash my face and I use, for example, this kind of cleanser. This is a purifying gel cleanser from Bioderma. And this one, um, for example, you can use for an oily slash sensitive skin, acne prone skin. So in the morning, you want to choose a very gentle, a lightweight um, cleanser just to cleanse your skin, cleanse your pores and prepare your skin for the next step of the skincare routine. So if you have, for example, more like sensitive skin, dry skin, this one will be a great option. And this is the all sensitive cleanser. So it has a bit of a thicker formula, like a moisturizer formula so it feels really soothing and calming on the skin whenever you are cleansing your face with this or if you have a bit more mature skin and you want some anti-aging ingredients straight in your uh, cleanser then this Savre natural collagen cleansing gel will be great for you it's great also for very sensitive skins the next step in your morning routine will be usually toner and I know there are two kinds of people here one so one camp says that you don't need any toners and you don't have to waste your money for the toners because these days we have such good cleansing products that you don't really need to use the toner after. And then the second um, camp, and I'm in the second camp, says that um, no matter what, you should use the toner. And I can't really imagine my skincare routine without the toner because I think it's really refreshing, hydrating and pH balancing for my skin. And that's what the toner should be doing. Uh, always whenever you use the toner, no matter what kind of skin type you have, uh, try to avoid alcohols because this is not good in the toner and for example I want to show you a few examples so I really like Hydrolat so those are those natural toners and I talk about them multiple times on my channel uh, so depends on what kind of skin type you have you have different Hydrolats and then you also have this rehydrating ginseng toner toner from uh, Elemis a great hydrating toner very light formula it's in the spray as you can see, I like my toners in the spray because they are just very easy and quick to use. And then whenever you have a bit more like an oily skin, a little bit of more sensitive skin, the Botanical Kinetics Aveda toners are a great option as well. And you can refresh your skin with them throughout the whole day if you would like to. So yes, those kind of toners. I also like toners from Clarina. So I will insert a little photos here because I've sold out all of them so I can't really show it to you. So EGF complex toner for more like a mature skin or the caviar toner, beautiful products as well. So you can choose the toner with um, already active ingredients in it if you like. So once our skin is nicely cleansed and toned, um, there is time for some hydration and that's where the moisturizer comes into action. And I think that every skin, no matter what kind of complexion you have, needs hydration. So for example, I have a very oily T-zone and quite sensitive cheeks. And believe me, I was quite skeptic when it was coming to putting anything um, cream consistency on my face before, because my imagination was already showing me loads of sebum and that greasy, messy face, yes? But, these days on the market we have beautiful formulas of the moisturizers uh, because uh, we have to stop thinking about moisturizers being those big paste like this old school Nivea cream in a tin pot and I'm sure everyone can relate to it. For example, I would like to mention a few for the oily skin because that's quite hard to find like lightweight moisturizers which will give you beautiful hydration but without creating that um, greasy uh, feel on your skin. And so first one which I would really recommend is this Aveda oil control lotion. So not only this this lotion will um, 
hydrate your skin but it will also uh, control the sebum production so your skin will stay mattified for longer another very good for an oily slash combination skin will be that um, exfoliate glow moisturizer from Kate Somerville beautiful lightweight formula it sinks into your skin very quickly but it will give you that nice hydrating uh, feel and look on the skin and then if you have a little bit more like sensitive skin which is a little bit more of a film on the skin then this Clinique Moisture Surge beautiful hydrating cream very lightweight jelly formula so it's not gonna be too heavy on a sensitive skin then another one very good uh, hydrating um, low, um, moisturizer will be this Aveda Botanical Kinetics intense hydrating soft cream beautiful formula it has a rich formula as well for people who like this kind of feel of the rich cream on their faces but this one is somewhere in the middle so very good moisturizer and for people who are looking for the anti-aging properties in their daily moisturizers then I would definitely recommend this natural nourishing day cream with native collagen uh, from Savre uh, and this one is actually which I love to use although it has a bit of a thicker formula but it sinks in beautifully and even for my oily slash combination skins it somehow works and last but not least very important step in my morning skincare routine will be SPF sun protection factor and I know you've heard me talking about the importance of SPF every day all year long so many times that you are probably bored of it but I have to um, yes I have to talk about it constantly so you always remember to use your SPF on the daily basis and Again, the same like with moisturizers. We have to stop thinking about SPFs as being those like fake white paste leaving that white cast and greasy film and um, after applying it these days we have beautiful lightweight spf options and you can get a cream option you can get the um, uh, spf in spray you can even get an spf in a brush like a foundation brush and things like this so yes loads of options so no excuse not to use one and I will always recommend using SPF separate and not like incorporated in your daily creams because that will be probably not enough of protection. So I would recommend to use a separate moisturizer and a separate SPF. Um, so, and that's what I'm using for my skin as well. And I would always recommend to use at least SPF 30, if not 50, for your face and um, so the SPF which I want to show you today um, a very uh, lightweight uh, formula SPF is this Aveda daily guard SPF 30 beautiful SPF it's really great for all sensitive skin um, so yeah great great SPF and then another one uh, the my my favorite SPF of them all is this Dermaquest sheer zinc SPF 30 mineral SPF mm, and it really protects your skin properly obviously you have to reapply your SPF every like two three hours but I will apply a very thick layer of this one because and it doesn't give me that stickiness or a greasy effect even on my oily t-zone and um, so yeah I really like this and then I will be topping up with a spray version of SPF which I will show you in a second but yeah this SPF great option and then um, my discovery of last year was this Jaya SPF 50 plus and this is an um, SPF for your face uh, for uh, an oily and combination skin and to be honest I really liked it and it's not maybe as like um, it's not gonna mattify your skin as the uh, Dermaquest one but it's quite significantly cheaper and yeah it's a very good option as well as for the SPF for your face um, and then I really like to top up my SPF every two or three hours depends if I'm on a full sun all day uh, during the summer and that's where I like to use this spray SPF and this is um, SPF 
50 from Kate Somerville. Great product. Um, it doesn't really, uh, will, we, it won't destroy your makeup, so you can just spray it over your makeup. Um, yeah, so I really like this SPF as well during the day. So yes, that will be our morning skincare routine. So you would cleanse, tone, put the moisturizer on, and then SPF. So you have four step morning skincare routine. And as I said, it's a basic morning skincare routine. All right, and now let's move to the evening skincare routine. And the same as in the morning version, I will show you the basic evening skincare routine. So again, the same as in the morning, uh, you would start your uh, evening skincare routine with cleansing. And here it depends if you wear loads of makeup or a very heavy weight uh, SPF, I would recommend double cleansing. I'm a big fan of double cleanse. Uh, so if I wear loads of makeup like today when I'm filming I, uh, I'll, I wear like primer foundation and all the powders etc I would start with dissolving my makeup with a cleansing balm for example and I love cleansing balms from Elemis or you have one take the day off from the clinic or you can also dissolve your makeup with a simple oil like this one for example which I like to use as an overnight facial oil so it can be a multitasking product as well so I would dissolve my makeup, make, make sure that everything has been uh, rinsed off and then I will follow up with a cleanser. And again, I'm using the same cleanser as I was using in the morning. So as early mentioned, Bioderma or the uh, Savre cleansing gel, uh, whichever I'm um, using um, at the certain moment. So yes, I would wash my face um, with it. So that will give me a very clean uh, pores and surface of the skin. And after that, again, I will be toning my skin and you can use the same toner as you were using in the morning. Uh, so let's Let's say I was using the Hydrolat, I would just spray my face and that's it. Or you can introduce some treatment toners, for example, exfoliating toners. So that will be your exfoliation. And I use exfoliating toners two, maybe three times a week, no more than that, that's enough. And you can use something with AHAs and BHAs, like this REN Ready Steady Glow Toner, which I really like. And then you have also this Pixie Glow Tonic with glycolic acid. And then Sanctuary Spa does some um, um, BHA and AHA toners, uh, with, which will be giving you the radiance to the skin. And then also Aveda has a very gentle exfoliant based on the salicylic acid derived from the wintergreen grass so yes loads of different options to exfoliate your skin but as I said you can go with either either a normal hydrating toner the same as you were using in the morning or you can introduce something a little bit more exfoliating and then after you cleanse and tone your skin there's time to feed your skin with some active ingredients. So I like to use my serums in the morning or in the evening, but when you just start with your skincare, I would like you to use the serum at least in the evening. So this is the time where we can indulge ourselves with our skincare because skincare should be your like this self-care moment which you really enjoy and it's really pleasant and um, and yes serum uh, it's a very concentrated um, high in high ingredient product ingredients product so it will give you that real boost to the skin and that will be actually your main product in your skincare routine and depends on what kind of problem you have or you would like to improve something in your skin and that's what kind of serum you would be choosing. So for example if you have a little bit of acne prone skin and a little bit of like sebum um, is producing like your skin is producing too much sebum then you can choose for example this ordin uh, the ordinary niacinamide and zinc serum uh, then if you want something a little bit more anti-aging, uh, smoothing your skin, boosting this collagen and elastin in your skin, then I would definitely recommend this natural collagen savre uh, platinum gel. Then you can also go with something more anti-aging like this 
firming serum from Tulosara, then if you would like to fight against some um, spots or melasma on your skin, you can choose a brightening serum from Aveda or this Skin Bright Serum from Dermaquest, both great products to uh, fight against this pigmentation on your skin. And then if you have a little bit of breakouts and even skin texture and first signs of aging, then for example, this Retexture Serum from Dermaquest will be a great option. But, but I, uh, as I said at the beginning, this is just for the reference. Um, so yes, just to show you what kind of products you could choose for different skin types and different skin mm, concerns. Uh, right, and after the serum, you apply the serum and then this is the time for the moisturizer. So again, to replenish the hydration levels in your skin. And uh, the same as in other steps, you can use basically the same moisturizer as you were using in the morning, unless it has SPF in it, so I wouldn't use anything with SPF in the evening because it can clog your pores and we don't want that. So after that I will use um, either the serum from the morning or a moisturizer or an overnight facial which was designed to, uh, specially designed to use in the evening. And you already know some of my favorite ones like this um, overnight skin is this facial elixir from Sarah Chapman. So it's an oil formula beautiful uh, for like giving you this brightness to the skin, giving you those anti-aging effects and smoothing the texture of your skin. Mm, then I also really like to use simple oils uh, for the night, like this Tulusara Radiant Oleation Oil, which is a composition of a few different oils, mm, beautiful um, moisture to the skin, hydration, um, beautiful even tone to the skin. So that's what this oil will give you. And then you also can use some kind of a firming treatments for the skin overnight like this Tulosara Firming Sleeping Mask. It used to be called Wedding Mask, but they've changed the name recently and now it's Firming Sleeping Mask. So it will give you that brightness to the skin, plumpness to the skin and that firming and lifting effect. And then uh, if you would like to work, uh, if, if we are staying the same subject like anti-aging, more mature skin, and then you have this beautiful um, uh, big brother of the morning moisturizer. This is the natural collagen regenerating night cream again from Savre. Great product if you want this elasticity, um, you want this collagen boost in your skin and this anti-aging effect. So yes, this one is a great option. And that will be it. Those will be the steps in your evening skincare routine. Cleansing or double cleansing, toning, serum and moisturizer. So again, four steps. So you have four steps in your morning skincare and then four slightly different steps in your evening skincare routine. Because there is no point of having loads of different beauty products which you don't even know how to use or they simply haven't been designed for your certain skin type. Uh, so yes, I would encourage you to either have a few good quality products and make this process of your skincare a very pleasant self-care moment and, and which you really enjoy and it really relaxes you. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful and interesting and if you have any more questions about mentioned products or you would like to uh, make a consultation with me and you would like me to create a skincare uh, designed for your specific skin needs, then please do not hesitate to contact me and all the contact details together with my social media links and my website address will be listed in the description box below this video. I will also try to link all the uh, products in the description box below, but this was just for the reference. So remember, I would always encourage you to contact either myself or another beauty therapist so we can create your personalized skincare routine. I wish you all a beautiful year, make your New Year's resolutions, goals, plans, create your perfect skincare routines and simply enjoy your lives. I wish you all the best and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!